This video is brought to you by our amazing supporters over at Patreon. Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board of Bits, and in this video we're going to be adding the last major feature of our database interaction with Unity, which is to be able to actually update the information from an existing player. In this case, we're going to be updating the score as they increase in score while playing our game. So once again, we're going to start by diving into the main menu so that we can actually go to our game page. I'm going to copy, go to login, paste it down here, and we're simply going to load scene three when we go to game. Save that, quickly jump back to Unity, go to our play game button. I will add an event, add the canvas, go to the main menu component, and go to game in this case. With that, we can jump into our game scene and we can create a new c -sharp script and I'm simply going to call this game. Open this up in Visual Studio, reload all. And in here, we are once again going to be using the UI namespace because this is going to be pulling a little bit of double duty in both handling our logic and our UI at this point, which is not the greatest solution. But for now, um, you know, this is a very simple game. We're not going to get into the whole separation of concerns at this moment. So in here, I'm going to put a public text for our player display, as well as a public text for our score display. We'll save that. We don't need to start. I'm going to actually put in an awake, though. I'm going to say void awake so that we can automatically um, populate these right when we start our game. So I'm going to say player display dot text equals player and then add db manager dot username. Likewise, we can do score display dot text equals score plus db manager dot score. Now what we might want to do in here is actually check, are we logged in? Is there some way that we accidentally got into this page without being logged in? In which case we want to kick back to the main menu. We can do that easily enough simply by saying something like if db manager dot username equals null, unity engine dot scene management dot scene manager dot load scene and then just jump back to scene zero the main menu so that we can make sure that we're actually uh, locking in all of that not likely to happen but just in case we can do that next thing we're going to do here is we're going to have a coroutine call in this case we're going to say public void call save data this is going to be calling the coroutine that will then save data back to our database. So we'll say here, start coroutine, save player data. And then we'll have an I enumerator. called save player data. And in here, we're going to be using sort of a similar idea. We're going to say www form called form is a new www form. However, we're going to populate this one a little bit differently. We don't have input fields this time. Instead, we're going to have the form dot add field called name again. But in this case, we're going to get it from db manager dot username. And then we're going to do form dot add field score, which will be taken from db manager dot score. Then we're going to make our internet call. We're going to say a new www. This one's going to go to HTTP localhost again, SQL connect. And in this case, we're going to go to Save data .php, and we'll pass that form in. And then 
will yield return, wait for that request to come back and say whether or not this worked successfully. Once again, here we're gonna check and just see if we got back no errors. So we'll say if www.text equals zero. So if we just get back zero, in this case, we're not gonna be passing back any additional information. We're just gonna get back zero. We can say debug.log game saved. Else debug.log save failed error number and then pass whatever text we pass again. Finally, in either case, uh, right now we're going to say dbmanager.logout because we're quitting our game. And again, I'm actually just going to copy this from up here to save time. We will go back to the main menu. So this will happen when we press the quit button. We will both quit and log out and go back um, to the main menu. Lastly, we need a means of actually increasing the score um, of our player. And so we'll do that with a public void called increase score. And all that this will do is say dbmanager.score plus plus. So we'll increment it by one. And we do want to also update the score display. So I will just copy this score display here and paste it down here. Don't need to worry about um, updating the player since the player is the same, just the score when it changes. So with all of that, our game now can run once we hook up our uh, properties in the scene. So if I go to Canvas, I can add the game script here. Something, oh, we have a error in our code. It'll jump back here. Oh, missing a semicolon, okay. There we go. Now we have our player display and our score display. So I can say name display goes here, score display goes here. And I can just make sure that both of my buttons are doing something as well. So for the earn points button, I will add the canvas, go to game, increase score. And for the exit button, add the canvas, game, call save data, which will save the data and then exit the game. We will hit save. And now we need to once again have our uh, have some PHP for our game to speak to so that it can actually update this information. So let me double check once more. I called this save data.php. So we will go to Sublime Text. I'm going to create a new file and save it as save data.php. Add everybody's favorite opening and closing brackets. And then inside of here, we're once again going to connect to our database. So I'm going to copy all of this, paste it in here. We have a couple of slightly different variables this time. So in this case, we still have username. So I will say username equals host pass in name. You just want to quickly double check that I still used, yep, name and then score are the labels here. And then I'm going to have a second one called new score, because this is the score that's incoming, it's an updated score. And this is going to take in post from the score field of our form. So now we're using these kind of strictly as PHP variables. We can then do a name check query where we say equals. This is gonna be the same as we've done before. In fact, I'll just copy this from here rather than having to paste in here. And we only need the username this time. We don't actually need the rest of the information because all we're doing here is we're just checking does this name exist again? Just as kind of a quick sanity check to make sure that someone didn't somehow get a username into our DB manager and is trying to you know, inject 
um, some weird code into our database. So we will say here, now at this point, um, we'll call this, we'll just call this name check as we did before, equals QLI query con and then name check query or die and we'll pass in I believe we were passing in two for that yes two for name check query failed in fact I'll just copy this all here there we go now from here, once again, we're actually gonna use the same idea as the login. We just wanna make sure that there is a name, but there's not multiple names uh, with the same, or multiple rows with the same name. So I'm just gonna copy all of this right here and paste this as well, just to say, hey, if there's something funny going on, we want to know about it and exit again. So that's all fine there. I'll add a comment here just to say, double check, there is only one user with this name. And then lastly, we don't need to check passwords and stuff now. At this point, if we're in the game, we can assume that we have successfully logged in, the password situation worked out, we are logged in. We can now just access the data as we need to and update it. And so we're going to do one more query here. So I'm going to say update, uh, da -da, dollar sign update query equals, and in this case, it's going to be update players set and then specifically we're setting the column score equal to and then here we're going to um, concatenate with the new score that we got notice we don't have the extra like quotes here because this is a number so we don't need to put it in quotes but we only want to do this where the name where username is equal to, and here we do need those quotes because we are putting in a string, username, close off that quote, close off the line, and then make sure that we have a final semicolon for the actual PHP command. And then we can say msqli query, and then the update query. We don't need to store this anywhere because we're not getting information from this. We're just strictly putting new information into the database. Or die, and let me just double check that we have, what is the highest we have? Six, so we're gonna do a seventh. So in this case, we're gonna say, or die seven, save query fail. Error code number seven, update query failed. And then lastly, as long as that didn't fail, so we're not getting that failure message, we can simply echo back zero to say everything went fine. So with all of that in place, our code is now ready to go. We should be able to go back to Unity here. If I go to the main menu, hit play, I can log in as four to bits, do a password, a password, log in. I am now board to bits, I can play the game. We see that I am board to bits and my score is zero. As I hit earn points, my points increase. Maybe I have seven points now, I decide to exit. We have an error somewhere in our code. So I will jump back and it looks, because I'm not getting an error number, that means it's likely one of the, oh, I am missing a semicolon. We will save that, see if that solves our issue. Play, go back again here, log in, bits, password. I'm gonna discuss how we can um, make these not be open text as well. All right, hit play game, earn some points, exit game. Game was successfully saved. And in fact, so now I'm no longer logged in, but if I log in again, 
bits. Log in. Hit play game. I see that I still have a score of seven. But not only that, if I go to the table here and I refresh it, I can just click browse here to refresh the table, we see that my score is now updated in the database as well to seven. So we now have a working system where we can register new accounts, log into those accounts, and actually update individual pieces of data in those accounts using this communication system of sending forms to a PHP script, and then that communicating with the SQL database, getting information back, and passing it back to Unity. This is a fully fledged system. I'm going to do one more video where we do a little bit of polish work, things like the fact that right now you shouldn't be able to play the game until you're logged in, and making sure that things like your passwords stay hidden when you type them in. But other than that, these are like the key features of this system. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.